Jesus dies on the cross. At noon, when Jesus was being crucified, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? As he hangs on the cross, Jesus, in extreme pain and isolation, echoes the words of Psalm 22. This psalm is a prayer for salvation in a time of extreme distress, anguish, and despondency at God's seeming silence. Jesus has suffered a lot by this point. He has sweated blood and anxiety, been abandoned by his followers, denied by Peter, tried by the Jews and the Romans, beaten, mocked, forced to carry his cross, and in the middle of crucifixion, one of the most brutal deaths ever devised, all of that has been terrible, but it has been bearable. What is not bearable for Jesus? Separation from God. All his life he has felt connection to his Father. And now here, God feels so far away. Sin is really separation from God. We tend to think of sin as not measuring up, or making mistakes, or failing to do the right things. That is part of it. But really, sins are the things that separate us from God and our fellow human beings. They are the things that we do, or leave undone that keep us from honoring God in our lives. The big and perhaps more importantly, the little things that keep us from truly becoming the person God wants us to be. And I fail to do these things in so many ways every day. What are some of the ways that you separate yourself from God? How can you change them? The good news is that neither the psalm nor the gospel ends there. The psalmist ends with, future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to all people yet unborn, saying, He has done it. Good news indeed.